Clean water is incredibly important because everyone in the world needs water. You know, we all drink water and especially here in Minnesota, we value water for, for recreation as well. Minnesotans love to fish and canoe and you know, we have the boundary waters. It takes work to, to maintain that and we want to understand our environment so that we can protect it for the future. My name is Amy Mikus. I am a water resources engineer at Bar Engineering and I work in urban stormwater and watershed management. A watershed is the physical area that collects the precipitation. There are smaller watersheds for rivers and streams all around the Twin Cities, and I study those. So when we're trying to determine if we're going to study a storm event, we try to capture anything above a quarter of an inch of rainfall. I really enjoy the variety that I have in my job. I alternate between working in the field and working in the office, and I think that's a really nice balance. Bar does water quality work around the state of Minnesota and occasionally in other states, so I have traveled um, to different projects. I decided that I wanted to be an engineer when I was in high school. I really liked math and science and uh, it seemed like a natural fit. I have a Bachelor's of Science in Civil Engineering from Marquette University and while I was a student there, I spent two summers as a intern here at Bar, and that was a really important experience because it showed me that I liked engineering as a field, it was a good fit for me, and it also showed me that what I was most interested in in civil engineering uh, was water. I looked around and I saw a lot of people with master's degrees and so I thought I should probably have one too. So after I finished um, my undergrad I went straight to graduate school. When you're solving problems it always helps to be a critical thinker and sort of look at the problem broadly and, and try to come at it from a number of different aspects. Every day at work I use a computer. Um, I use it to keep an eye on the weather. I use it to write up memos and reports. I also use GIS, uh, which is Geographic Information Software. That's been a very valuable skill for me. I use it almost every day. I produce a lot of maps for different projects. When I'm working in the field, I use tools like a transparency tube, which allows me to see how clear the water is. I use a turbidimeter, which is a small machine that uses light to also measure water clarity. Increased concrete, increased pavement, you know, building a new shopping mall or subdivision has an effect on the rivers. More pavement in an area means that water moves to the rivers faster, and so the rivers rise faster when it, when it rains and then they fall faster. If we tell the city that this stream is starting to rise higher than it used to, they might say, well, then we need to address that because we don't want to flood our residents. And we might work with them on a plan to address that. The field of engineering has been diversifying in the past 20 years. Um, a lot more uh, women have entered the field. And engineering is about more than just math and science. Those are important, but uh, also important is the ability to write and to think critically and to communicate with the people that you work with and the people that you work for. Now that it's so easy to make a map and put data in a map so that we can see things spatially, not just read them off a table or off a report, but we can look at a picture. My advice to somebody who wanted to go into this field would be to go to school, study engineering, and while you're in school, uh, try your best to get some real life experience. A lot of engineering schools have co-op programs that allow you to alternate semesters of working and studying. Engineers, as a general field, seem to always be in demand. They're involved in all kinds of different parts of our lives. The population is growing. I mean, every single person in the world needs water to drink. How we treat it now determines how much we'll have to do to make it clean again in the future.